Hi guys, and welcome to another video. And I am recording this on Valentine's Day. And obviously Valentine's Day is all about love. And there's three sections of this industry that I was just gonna talk a little bit about love and whether love is vital in them certain parts of the industry. And maybe if it's not vital in certain parts, maybe there's maybe branches off of that. And the first one is gonna be the job. So is it important to love the job? And my view on it is that you don't necessarily need to have a love for the job, but you need to have a certain amount of love to do the job. So I wouldn't say that I'm in love with the job as a whole. Like I think there are certain parts that could be better, that, that there's certain parts of the, the job that could be improved. But I don't think that's through the company. I think that's through sort of the way in which the dog handling, the security dog handling industry is constructed from the hierarchy above. But I think it is important that, and this is what I do, is that I do love doing the job. So I do love getting up, going out with the dog, doing the job with the dog, whether that's going and doing training, whether that's going out and we go on a shift and we're doing patrolling and different things like that. So. I think in terms of love, I don't think you have to have a love for the job as a whole, but I think it is important that you do have maybe a love for doing the job, a will to get out to go and do the training, a will to get out and go and do a shift, because if you are doing back-to-back 15-hour -back shifts, 12-hour shifts, and you're not getting lots of sleep, etc., if you don't have a love for the job in terms of going and doing it, that can wear on you pretty quickly and I think that's where sometimes a lot of people fall out of love with the job is that they they fall out of love with doing the job it's not necessarily the job itself because they may not have loved that to start off with but it's a, a falling out of love of actually getting up going out doing the training getting up going out doing the doing the shifts etc so I think in terms of love for the love for security dog handling I don't think you need to have it for the job as a whole but I think it is good to have um, in terms of actually wanting to get up and go and doing the job. And the second category for that I'm going to talk about love is a love for who you work for. Like, is it important for you to to love who you work for? And I wouldn't say I love working for, for Prestige. I think love is quite a strange way of putting it, but. I think also with love is that if like if you love your fiance, if you love your partner, you love your wife, etc. Like it's also also like a mutual respect. Like you have a mutual respect for each other, and I think that's a part of love. And I would say that like I wouldn't say I love working for Steve, but I feel like we have a mutual respect for each other. So in one way, I would say that I do love working for Prestige because I respect them. I feel like they respect me. So somewhere in there, there is a, a certain type of mutual love for, for us working together. And I think that that also is the same for sort of subcontractors or if you're a self-employed dog handler. Like you don't need to love working for a certain company or whatever it is, but if you get respect off of them, off of the, the company that you're working for, I feel like that's where you will stay with someone for a long time because you don't necessarily need to love working for them, but if you feel respected, and it's the same way in relationships and marriages and different things like that, like if you are well respected, you're more likely to stay with that person or you're gonna stay in that arrangement or whatever it is. So I wouldn't say that you need to love working for a certain company or you don't need to love working for a certain boss etc but i think as long as you've got a mutual respect i feel like the, that relationship can work really well so i think that's that, that's my view on sort of love working for a company etc and then the last one is him so a love for your dog so do i love my dog i would say yes i do i do love my dog it's He's my best friend, he's my work colleague. He's with me all the time. I don't, I don't think there's many days that me and him aren't together or there's not many hours that me and him aren't together. But I think love for your dog in security dog handling has to be set into sort of two different areas. So you've got like the home area or like the, the downtime area. And 
that's a love for my dog that I will feed him, I will walk him, I will play with him, I will do certain different things with him. And obviously I do love my dog and I do all that to, to the best of my ability or as much as we can. But there's also a love for your dog in terms of the job. Now, I think this is where there's two different sides to this. So I've got the, I've got the love for my dog in terms of I've put, well, we have put hours and hours of training in to make sure that he is capable of doing the job. So whether that's obedience, whether that's patrolling, whether that's protection work, etc. And I, for the love of my dog, I put lots of hours into sort of obedience and different things like that. So therefore, when we go to shift, it's not a battle. So if we went to shift every night and we was arguing and battling over his obedience or his behavior, etc., would that have a detrimental effect on his, on the love he felt from me? And it possibly would. So in order to, to make sure that we can work well together, we've put in the hours of doing obedience training, of doing a certain command training so that we can work well as, we can work well together as a team. And there's also the love for my dog in terms of the protection side. So. There are situations where my love for my dog is going to take a back seat and I'm going to say, right, this is a really serious situation. I need you to go forwards. And it's the way in which I've put love into my dog for that is that to the best of our ability, I have trained him to deal with them situations. I'm not sending him in there with no skills to deal with that situation. So. The love for my dog in terms of like the protection side is that I've given him the skills I feel capable of doing the job to be able to protect himself. I haven't thrown him in there. Like if I haven't got kids, but for people that have kids, if you was in a dangerous situation, you wouldn't put your kids in front of you to deal with that situation because you love them and you haven't given them the necessary uh, skills in order to do that. But if you give them the necessary skills, for example, um, you train your kid up and they become uh, an MMA fighter or a boxer or something like that, and there's a serious situation that you can't get out of, and your son is 18 stone, six foot four, and a professional boxer, you might say, no, I'll let you do that. But you've obviously put the, you've obviously paved the way for him to get there. And it's quite similar with it's quite similar with the dog and that's why the love for my dog has been that i have put it we i keep saying i we have put in the training in order to be able to give him the skill so that if we are in trouble i can say look you go forwards you can deal with this situation and then his love for me then needs to take over and i think it i find it quite hard to to find out what a show of love from a dog to a person is. I, I obviously see with like affection, like obviously he'll come up and he'll have a cuddle or he'll come up and he'll sit next to me and that's kind of affection, but I wouldn't call that kind of love. But what I would call love is that he will put himself in front to keep us safe. And that's him stepping forward. So in terms of protection, my love my love for him takes a back seat, I have to, in order to send him forward. So my love takes a back seat to send him forwards, but his love for me has to go forwards in order to protect us. So I think in terms of loving them, three different areas. So I don't feel like it's important to love the job as a whole. I think you can have grievances with the way in which the the industry is set up, etc. But in order to do the job, I feel like you need to have a love for doing the job. In terms of working for a company or working for a certain person, is that I don't feel like you have to love working for them, but I feel like a mutual respect is enough for this for you to, to work well in this industry. And then a love for your dog, like I say, I think showing your dog love outside working on the downtimes is important, but when it comes to sort of the work inside of it, your love for your dog is, is giving him the skills to be able to look after himself when you send him into situations or when you are working but you have to take that that love has to take a back seat when you push him forwards and say look you can deal with this it's your turn to to show your love towards me etc so i think that's my, that's a little bit on love 
it's Valentine's Day. It's probably the only logical uh, topic to put out there. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for loads more videos. If you've got any comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for watching. See you later.